contact lenses. I've heard so many good things about it. Since this is my first colored contact lenses ever in my life, I actually bought so many different versions of them. Today we will be reviewing the latest colored contact line, which is the Scandi line. Oh yeah, I bought all three colors, but you know what? I'm going to start off with the Olive series first because this is the series that I'm super duper excited about. As well, we will be reviewing the Island series, which is this one right over here. It is an old series, but it's one of the big three. So the big three within Olens is Scandi, Spanish, and Island. And the third one that I will be reviewing for you guys today is the Vivi Ring series. So actually Olens is also really famous for this line. This line is famous for giving you a doe eye doll look. It actually has that black rim in the contact lens. There are three things I look for in the colored contact lenses. Number one is the GDIA. Number two is the color and design of the colored contact lenses. And number three, which is the most important one, is the comfort and safety level. So how moisturizing it is, how oxygen permeable it is, and how safe is this colored contact lenses. Since the colored contact lenses will look different on each eye, this is my eye profile so that you guys can make a better judgment on how it looked like on your eye. Alrighty, so I'm back from washing my hands and right now I will be testing out the Olens One Day Scandi for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is what it looks like. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh wow, look at how it looks like. Okay, first impressions. I'm not used to seeing my eyes like this, so definitely a weird experience to be having. <laughs> um, but first impressions, as you can see, the GDIA of the Scandi Olive is 11.9. It is slightly more smaller than my current eyeball, so it looks kind of funny. Like, you can still see the outer line of my original eyeball. <laughs> okay, let me wear both so that you, you can see better. What do you guys think? When I wear this in real life and I ask my mom if there's anything different about me, she didn't even notice anything. And then when I asked her to look at my eyes, and then she was like, hmm, it does look a little bit lighter than normal. So definitely in real life, the One Day Scandi Olive has a very natural yet mesmerizing color. So it makes people intrigued. It's just that the GDIA is really not for me. It makes my eyes look smaller. So if only they have this in a ring version or something, I'll totally repurchase. Hey guys, so if you've noticed, there is a difference in lighting and that is because I'm right now filming at night. I just wanted to finish it by today. Anyway, I'll show you guys what the cobalt blue looks like right over here. So let's go! Ta -da! Wow, what do you guys think? I really love it. I think I love this one more than the Scandi Olive just because the GDIA, which is graphic diameter, is 12.99 so it suits my eye size, eyeball size much, much more. And the color is really, really nice. It's very subtle, yet mysterious, yet mesmerizing and alluring. camera it looks really obvious it looks like a really dark blue which is very mesmerizing and everything but in real life it really looks very subtle it almost blends into your natural brown or black eye pupil so 
definitely it looks way more natural than what you see right over here over here you can see you can still see the tinge of blue but in real life it is much more leaning towards a hint of dark blue but mostly leaning towards just that sterling dark gray so yes i really love it it looks really natural in real life and even on camera it looks amazing so i love it Alrighty, now that we have tried on the cobalt blue from Island series, let's go ahead and try the choco color from BB Ring series. Let's go! Bye bye! Bye bye cobalt blue! One good thing about monthly lenses is that I can keep it for as long as I like. So, Well, I mean not as long as I like for one month, but definitely longer so I don't have to feel bad about throwing it away. And this is the Vivi Choco in Choco color. I don't know if you guys can see. Ooh, it looks really natural as well. I mean, comparing it to this cobalt blue, you can see that. Can you see the difference in terms of size? The VB Ring Choco actually has that black rim right on the outside for the pupil so it will actually give the pupil a more enlarging effect. It looks really natural. I love it. It feels like it's just my eye. It looks like I was born with this eye. Alrighty, I just took off my cobalt blue lenses and as you can see, these are my eyeballs without any contact lenses at all. As you can tell, there is a slight enlarging effect which I like and definitely this eye is lighter than this eye. And it's not an eye color that Asians would have because it has that yellowish undertone much more is about one to two tones lighter than the normal dark brown eye color that Asians would have so it gives off the feeling of are you mixed? is that your natural eye? so I really like this effect and definitely I will repurchase this like just off the bat I will definitely repurchase this because I love it so much and I've worn it in my day one of post circuit breaker vlog if you guys haven't watched it yet do click on the video and watch it so yeah in that video you guys will be able to see what the color contacts look like under the sunlight it looks so natural i love it all right we have come to the end of our very first unbiased opinion review Yay! i hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned because there's more oled's colored contact lenses reviews coming your way i don't know about you guys but for me personally i'm super duper obsessed with colored contacts and that's why i just had a super massive oled's colored contacts haul Soon enough, I will try other brands such as Freshcon and Fresh Look, so do stay tuned. Hello, if you found this video helpful, do give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the future videos I am going to be posting. Thank you so much for watching. Adios, and until next time, bye!